Obviously, it's nowhere near as loud and as brutal as the stuff we're used to today. You know, I found this really cool trick when I put older albums on is I just go to the volume knob and I turn it louder. I think that's the only way. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Way. And it's just like, and it works, you know? But honestly, seriously though, like the sonics of it, does it still hold up, you think? Like in terms of like... The, the remastered versions, I would say it gets close. Again, if you turn it up and maybe scoop your 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 little EQ in your car kind of thing, you got to play with those levels the because anything, face. yeah, you got to do the smiley face on that EQ. Yeah. Surprisingly, man, like those uh, those records, how they were done back then, you would think that they would sound a lot worse and compared to today's standards, but yeah. they don't. I think that because they were recorded analog, you still have that that fatness. You still have that room with the bass and the, and the drums still cut through no matter what.